Chris, you and I were at Tate's Creek tonight for our the preview of our game of the week, and this is an amazing <laughs> statistic we have since 2017. What about Frederick Douglass? They have not lost any school on their schedule within the Lexington city limits, public or private, That's Jeff. Unbelievable. Would it happen <laughs> tonight? All right, let's get right to the game of the week. Frederick Douglass looking to even the record at two and two at Tades Creek. Former Taylor County stud running back Peyton Smith, now a Bronco. This is the first time he touched the football. He goes 10 yards for the touchdown, seven to nothing, Frederick Douglass. Next drive, Frederick Douglass right down the field. This time it's Pharaoh Watts from three yards out. He slides over to his right, zips into the end zone, 13 to nothing. So what if by land, two if by air, right? Jackson Stroutman to Watts. This one, a running back middle screen. Watts does the rest. He takes it to the house, 20 zip. 134 left in the half, but Tades Creek goes right down the field. There you see 136, they go all the way down the field. Nine seconds left. Watch Darnell Burnside, the perfect strike to JT Cooper. He gets hit, falls into the end zone. They cut it to 20 to seven. But for some reason, the Commodores decide to kick the ball with nine seconds left to the best athlete on the field, Avion Chenault. That's not a good idea. He breaks free. Look at the speed of this young man. He goes 90 with no time left. The Broncos roll 50 to 14 in this one. Yikes.